We are in Luxembourg and we are at the Chocolate House and we're having hot chocolate a little so different. Welcome to Luxembourg. Luxembourg. We are visiting our 48th country. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. The weather is just as cloudy as Belgium. Amazing! Yeah. Did you know that Luxembourg is one of the smallest countries in the world? But apparently it's very rich. Yes, it's one of the richest ones in the world. And it's one that actually started the European Union. And most of the people that work here actually don't live here but come from Belgium, France, and Germany. Because the minimum wage, it's the highest in the European Union. 1,923 euros, yes. so it's cheaper for them to live in another country and then just come and here cross for work. And come here work. Yeah. Amazing. We're almost there. Good morning from Luxembourg City. We are parked with our camper van in a beautiful, a beautiful place. place right outside of the town. As usual, we're getting a bus that is free because buses are free in, in Luxembourg. Luxembourg. There is a park all around our campsite where you can go and train. There is a whole route with all the exercises you can do while you stop. So now we want to see how the buses work. Just the fact that they're free is a very big plus. <laughs> Come with us. They are so nice here. The bus driver is stuck on the other side. He was waiting for us if we had oh, to get 18, the 18. if we it's had the to get way. the bus. I say no, thank you. We need the 18. It was 20, and he just left. He said, 17, wow. 20. Now we just wait for the bus. It's connected really good with everything. This bus come from here and we arrive at the, the center and from the center there is all the other line that they goes around the city look they have an elevator to go in the lower part of the town they also have a funicular <laughs> and everything is free wow following you guys. Where are we going? <laughs> no one knows. See, no one knows where we're going. <laughs> Mommy, where are we going? I don't know. Or maybe I do. We're just wandering around. Oh Emma, where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> Play Storms and it's the original town square of the old town. It's full of restaurants all around it. Oh, that one is the town hall probably. That one on the eastern side is the Cirque, which was initially designed as the administrative building. It was a site of the European Court of Justice. But now it's for cultural events. So on this side, the monument is dedicated to two of Luxembourg's poets. The lion on the monument represents the Grand Duke, and the national motto is inscribed on the pillar, which means we want to stay what we are. And that is the motto of Luxembourg. No. Go. 
you're watching. Look at it, that's it. Whoa, look, they're putting it in. This one is the cathedral over there. That's not good. Yeah. Okay. Luxembourg it doesn't have an official religion, religion, but most of people here are Catholic. Religion. Da na na na. Ah, I'm not stopping. So. So. Yeah, Bob. So. So. Do it or not? No, no, I mean, you don't know what we're doing. Yeah. We're gonna ask our friend. Our friend? Who? Maybe he told us the, the name. <laughs> we should ask the lion. So I'm the only one that wants to go here, probably. Oh. It's cool because it's like underground. She's she's a serious one. Yeah, but <laughs> it's 200 <laughs> steps down, so I'm not sure it's gonna make everybody happy to do it. So we might just see it from outside. I don't know, we'll see. Who's that? Let's go. Where are we going? <laughs> I was going low and he was like holding on. No, until I'm going to say go, I'm going to go around and then okay, go. So this is the house of the Grand Duke and it's also where they do more international entertainments. If you sit here, you can have a hot chocolate and a nice cake in this place right across. Then you can look when the guards switch because they switch who stands in there. Right in front of you. Goes. They're gonna do it now. Look. And they keep on doing this the whole time. One goes up, up and down, and the other one stands there, and then they switch. Voila. You got to see it too. <laughs> it must be beautiful inside. I read that you can visit it in July and August. You can visit part, I guess, of the palace. So if you're here in that time of the year, you can come and see it. Where are you And there's that happening. <laughs> we're in Luxembourg and we're at the chocolate house. And we're having hot chocolate a little different. Chocolate attached to your spoon and you put it in the hot milk. <laughs> You add the whipped cream and the marshmallow and the marshmallow. It's you. It's made of chocolate. Oh, look at that! So it's so. It's so. so I don't know. It's so fluffy. Fluffy. And the whipped cream is so good. And it's not only the chocolate. They have cake too. They all made so we got the chocolate. Cake. Oh God, that's so good. And we got an apple cake. That is only mine. <laughs> So guys, I just want to eat it. <laughs> enjoy the, the chocolate. Mom, look, it's already melting. Apparently, this is typical here. We are enjoying inside the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. You like it, Luca? I didn't even try it. But you like the, the cake? Yeah. Now, okay. now we see the chocolate. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Open! Ooh, this is a cool statue. I'm open! This is a fountain called the Amelsmarsch Fountain. And it's tied to an old Luxembourgish tradition of marching bands parading down the streets with a flock of sheep to invite people at this annual fair. This is their representation of that tradition. It reminds us of the Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, it does a little bit. <laughs> Whenever we go around the city, there is water fountain everywhere, and you can drink water. Careful. Here, the water, it's really good, and it's free. Water? Yes.
We just went to a bookstore. Look at my Raponce. 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 This is a statue, it's called Les Saltimbanks, and it's dedicated to the artistic and creative side of Luxembourg. And so there is the fire breather, the people dancing, the clown, the singer, the, yeah. the player. Yes. Guys, look at this one. Uh, the chef with the spaghetti. Man, whoever this artist guy is, is cool. <laughs> look at those two people. They're just like, ugh. 470 euros. So guys, this is Nike, the Greek goddess of victory. Why do they always choose the Greeks though? I mean, come on. And yeah, I knew this. <laughs> I just want to say that. I knew that. Hey, hey, wait for me. Hey. <laughs> It's a monument dedicated to the people from Luxembourg that died during the Second World War when they volunteered to go and help the French army against the Germans. Welcome to our very nice campsite here in Luxembourg. So the whole thing here, they are very well organized. It's very and spacious. Guess what? They have a mini golf for the kids. For the adults too, because it's really big. Yeah, I it's, did it last it's night. 18 hole. I'm gonna show you now how it is. The kids are there yelling. You can hear only them, and it's really cool. And this uh, campsite has over 160 pitches. So it's very big. There's two compounds for the bathrooms. Then there is a restaurant, which is actually really good. There is a little shop where you can buy your essentials. You're right behind a forest, so you can go bike riding or just you know do some workout. And you can go by bike to the city or you can simply take the bus because it's free. This is the first hall. They left the bike, they came with the bike. <laughs> Look how nice. Everything is under the trees. It's very well maintained. So you have to throw it in the net. Yeah. The net yeah. is the hole. No, you, you, Daddy, you know what happened? I got in six tries. I throw it in and we're like, what? What are you doing? Eleven. <laughs> this is having a problem. You can't make this hit. Do you see the ball? <laughs> He's blind. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one that wanted to be strict, right? Yes. Oh, Eleven. 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 